Hey YouTube, it's Mike Pang Gangster, and today we're going to be talking about custom tactics for people that are struggling with gameplay, okay? Uh, these are qualifiers. Uh, I always stop at uh, six wins. I just want the two mega packs. So I'm six and two. We're going to collect the, um, the rewards here, and I'm going to show you guys the custom tactics that are going to help you out. Now, these are not 100%. These are not like basically my custom tactics, but I will explain something about it, and I will also tell you who, who, who's custom tax they are and all that but there's a, there's a particular stuff in it that will help for people that have bad gameplay okay um we're also going to open up packs at the end of the video so stick around because we have the um what's it called here the the the, the one that you play the the five games there this one right here you get the player picks and you also got a few packs now wait there was also one more pack let me just go get it real, real quick this one right here 80 times 5 so we're gonna open that at the end of the video and we're gonna get into the custom tactics first okay so this is the team of course well I mean people don't really know all my team but I ended up like basically getting a, a few extra players uh, Allison uh, Teal and I went to get Van Basten uh, why just for the fun of it I mean come on you played with Hullet when they were in Milan so why not let's just have a little bit of fun I was about to go get even or Rikard and stuff like that, Maldini and all that, but whatever. Anyways, custom tactics. So these are Vipers custom tactics, okay? Uh, the only difference is this one right here. Pressure on every touch, he uses uh, press after possession loss. Now, a lot of people are using the 71 depth, okay? So the width on the 442 is the, 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 the formation I like to play. Uh, uh, it's 50 and depth 71 because it's just broken, right? And then this is where, you know, a lot of people don't don't play this fast build up and forward runs what does this do everybody that's struggling with gameplay okay by putting these two things on makes your team move forward if you're on balance and direct passing like the pros do you're gonna struggle simple as that why because you don't have the same gameplay these guys have these guys don't play in areas that their servers are bad for them. They play in certain areas that their team are located. The reason for it is because they have good connection, they have good quality gameplay. So when you have good quality gameplay, balance and direct passing works properly for you. When you have bad gameplay, delay, heaviness, and all that stuff, it's just not gonna work for you. Your team will not move. So for your team to move, you gotta have fast built up and forward runs on. Same thing goes for defense. If you're using 71 depth but you have bad gameplay, your players will not react. So you got to either put pressure on every touch or press after possession loss to make your team react. As simple as that. Because your delay is basically affecting your tactics. So you're going to have to basically have some sort of pressure tactic on for it to be more um, helpful to your team movement. Okay? With 60, players in the box 6. 2-2 two, two for corners, and uh, this is the way the team looks like. Instructions, both, actually not both, I do apologize, but they're both on stay central. The only difference is that my fast player is on getting behind with stay forward, and my other guy is on stay central, stay forward with mixed attacks, okay? Both the cams, on the cams, both left mid and right mid are both exactly on the same, come back on defense, stay wide, getting behind. Both on the same. You have one defensive mid, well, basically one that box to box. So I got Barella. He stays back while attacking and cover center. And then Hullet is on cover center, and I make him do whatever he wants because it's root Hullet, right? Both fullbacks are on stay back while attacking and overlap, okay? The reason why they're on overlap is just in case I need extra offense in the D-pad. I put them on during the attack if I need them during the game if I'm behind or whatever. So those are the tactics for 442. Remember... Having pressure on every touch to have your defensive movement is very important. Or press after possession loss. The only one I don't recommend is constant pressure. The two though, pressure on every touch and press after possession loss, I recommend everybody using them that are, are struggling with bad gameplay. Same thing goes with fast build up and forward runs. If you are with uh, balanced direct passing and you have bad gameplay, your players will not move. If you have fast build up and forward runs, they will activate. They will actually move. Will it be uh, a guaranteed win? No, of course. But will it have movement up front? Yes. And that's what you're looking for because I know a lot of people struggle with bad gameplay, right? So anyways, 
Those were the tactics. Let's open up the packs. We have quite a few packs here. We have eight packs, apparently. With two player picks. 75 plus player picks, I think. Let's just open up the player picks real, real quick. See if I get lucky. We're going to be getting the um, 83 times 10 again soon. So I'm going to be doing those later on when they repop. So an 83 and 79, whatever. It's going to help me for the 83 times 10. Other than that, nothing great. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the untradeable ones first. So a premium gold pack. Doesn't look like it's good. Left wing. I'm not even sure where it is. Okay, it's a Ford. So that's actually pretty good, actually, to get an 84 rated. I'm still working on Mbappe. I am 10 out of 20 so far. I've completed all the small ones and completed all the 89s and 188. So we're getting there slowly, slowly. Hopefully by next week, he could be done. Another pack. Here we go. Nothing special in these packs. Premium gold pack. Let me know also what you guys do for your weekend league qualifiers. I, I like to stop at six wins. Uh, the best I've done is nine and one, but uh, six wins. I'm just happy with the two mega packs. They give they give out some pretty decent rewards, uh, some decent pack luck sometimes in those ones. So I kind of just go for that. Uh, okay, what else? So far, not too good. We have 80 times, we have a prime, prime gold player pack and an 80 times 5. Let's open up the prime gold player pack. It looks like it's a special card. No, it's not. It looked like it was a special one, but it's not. Hmm. Who's this? Trap. Okay, I'll take an 85 rated, why not? 85, 84, 83, wow, that's, pretty, that's a nice prime gold pack, to be honest with you. I mean, to get like... An 85 with an 84 and 283 is pretty good. Untradeable, but pretty good. Again, it's going to help me towards my grind of Mbappe. So, here it doesn't look too good. Nope, not too good. Maybe Koulibaly. It is Koulibaly. Again, hey man, I accept a fodder. I need it. So, it's going to help me out completing, uh, you know, some of the SBCs that I'm doing. This looks like a rare. I don't know if it's a team of the week. I think it's a team of the week. I could be wrong. It looks like a team of the week. I can't tell sometimes if it's a team of the week or if it's a, um, uh, one of those special cards. I, I can't tell them more. Like I, I'm just confused with the animations and the colors and all that stuff. We're just going to give this away. Keep those. You know, like, see, the, these packs, they give out sometimes. Right? Like, a, you know, team of the week is like 30-something thousand coins, which is, which is nice. The first mega packs, yeah, maybe 20 crews. Nope. Not sure what this is. What's this? It's a girl. Okay, Minji. 81 rated, not too good. Maybe we have a shadow or a hunter in here. Nope. None of those good things. None of those good things. But it's okay. We have players, which again, it's gonna help me do my uh, my SBCs. Last pack. Regular gold. Dutch. CM. Young maybe. Wow, not bad. 87 rated. Tradable, so it's good. That's like 17k or something. So we're going to sell them. Maybe we'll sell even the um, 83s. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Is that a sell? The, yeah, this, these they still sell, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm actually going to check right now. I think these still sell for a little bit. And they do. So check those guys if you have them in club in your club because these seem to be selling for like a little over a thousand coins so anyway that was the pack opening again nothing crazy but we did get a team of the week we did get an 87 rated we got a, a couple of fodder stuff like that to work towards them back and stuff like that so pretty good anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the tactics go ahead go try them out i'm telling you it's going to help a lot of people that are having bad gameplay and again you know leave a comment leave a like no, leave a comment. Let, let me know what you guys are thinking about the uh, the tactics and all that stuff, okay? So, I wish you guys a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.